This is JFK Airport, Terminal 1. And guys, I'm here on a Sunday afternoon, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. This is Terminal 1. A lot, of, a lot of international flights usually come through here. I'm here to pick somebody up and just, <laughs> I've never seen the airport like this before. Um, you know, take a look at this. There's like no taxis here. There's one taxi all the way down there. Uh, very little cars in the parking lot, no people around. I mean, yeah, maybe there's not a lot of more flights coming in right now or they're waiting for one to come in, but generally this thing is busy pretty much all day long. So it's, it's really surprising to see this like this. So few people, so few cars. Um, <laughs> I'm very surprised. I thought there were more flights coming in, but man, if this thing if this thing keeps up uh, with no flights, no people traveling, airlines are not flying, uh, not burning fuel, and all of that stuff, this this is not going to be good for the economy. I mean, this is this is like a ghost town in here, and this is Terminal One, JFK International Airport. So I was expecting I'd see a lot of people here just waiting for flights or whatever, but man, it is really dead here. I'm, I'm surprised. So I'm gonna take a walk inside. I wonder, I think I could shoot inside. So I'll take a little walk in there and see what kind of ghost town it is in there and see if the, if the booths, the restaurants, the cafes and newsstands are open. Um, I'm wondering because if there's so few people, what's the reason for them to stay open? I don't know, not much. Let's see. So, up here in the departures, there's way more people, for sure. So it's not, not that bad. The guy I talked to downstairs said that at the height of the shutdown, they were doing maybe two to four flights out of this terminal and normally they do 45 and now they're up to like 15 16 so about a third of what they normally do right now and he said it kind of goes in spurts so in the morning they have a big rush and maybe in the evening or something like that so it's not as as dead as it indicates from outside and downstairs but you know, 60, 60% 60 off of what it normally is. So um, the restaurants, Dunkin' Donuts and whatnot downstairs is closed, but he said that uh, those places up there, Taco John's and all that is open. So you can get something to eat up here. And there are people taking off. I mean, and the flights are like, uh, let's see. Let's see where, I know Turkey, Moscow, departures, Paris, Istanbul, Taipei, Shanghai, Seoul, Tokyo, Moscow, Mexico City, Fuzhou, Beijing. Uh, so, yeah, there are flights taken off. But if you've been to JFK before, you know how crowded it normally is pretty much any time of day. And even the departures, there's usually a really long line. So Dunkin' Donuts down here is closed. Currency exchange looks like it's closed. All these things are closed. So that's a look at JFK Airport. Um, I was kind of wondering myself what it's like down here right now. And uh, it is pretty damn dead, that's for sure. But there's still flights coming in and out, just not as much as they used to. 
And here's some arrivals right now. Let's see. Moscow, Paris, Istanbul, Casablanca, Paris, Taipei, Tokyo, Seoul. So basically, Paris, uh, France, Turkey, China, Korea, Russia, and Germany. There's a Frankfurt flight. Huh. Frankfurt and Rome, which is surprising because supposedly if you've been in Europe in the last 14 days, you're not allowed to step foot in the United States. And that includes if you're just doing a connection in a European airport. So I don't know who's on those flights. Maybe it's U.S. citizens that have to be let back in no matter what. Um, but that's, that's the way I understand it right now. So that's what's going on over here at JFK Airport. I hope this was informative to give you an idea of how things are in New York and with flights and everything. So hope you like this and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. Let's see. Don't forget your COVID free fly certificate. Oh, great.